wait, I will wait, stop shouting. If anyone will post it again. Jesus Christ. You asked me what is wrong. Well, you made the video now. So? Why not just make the video? So? Okay, what was the intention of making the video? Okay, but I don't have the right to make a video on my own phone again. You were recording when we were having a conversation. I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. And I went, I, I came across the phone, I saw it. Of course, you wanted to post it. Now that I post it, right? Okay, oh, okay. Is that a thing? Focus the point. No, no, no. You wanted to put it out there. I helped you to put it. No, no problem. No problem. This is your defense of me. But uh, the intention is because I wanted to post it. That's why you posted it. Why would you be recording a video without telling me? I have the right to record a video on my own phone. Did you tell me you were recording? Did you tell me? Wait. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So you can see here in the building. Hope you guys are great. So everybody have decided to run mad on the internet. Even celebrities. Is it for views or for popularity or for more followers or more money? I cannot say. So Judy and uh, you, Edochie, I don't know what you people are doing. I feel that this is just a means to attract attention. But if this is real, then hmm, Judy, let me tell you. You are digging your own grave. Your life is in danger. Do you know why I say this? When relationship or marriage get to the stage of recording, keeping evidence, <clears throat> especially recording and keeping, then <laughs> sooner or sooner, very soon, hmm, you know that something is going to happen. For you to be recording this guy and he has found out that you are recording him, it's a very big bad sign. It goes to show that you have plan B. Or you are keeping evidence in case of tomorrow. You are no more blinded by love. Your eyes don't open wide. And you have decided to <clears throat> keep record in case something goes off. You bring out your proof and evidence soon. If it's true that he found it on your phone and posted it and you came again, you didn't learn from the first and the advice from people. You started recording the second one. And you even treating him to expose so many things that people don't know. Hey, hey. Judy, Potawa, who's a girl? Potawa. You don't even know this you. You is the last born of Pete Doche. Go and check who Pete Doche is. He's a stubborn man, strong. Even the way the stubbornness he shows in the movie shows that he is stubborn in real life. He just born himself in that you. And you know last bonds. Last bonds are always so stubborn and arrogant. If it's true and you think that you can, you feel that you have balance, you have given him a son and a daughter. And now you will not enter house and hide yourself from the katakata you have been causing and from the loss of the firstborn in that family. You don't want to go and hide yourself. And you are trying to prove to this man the only backbone you have, the only supporter you have in that family. The only one who stood by you. You are now fighting against him, recording him. Hey, hey. I pity your life. You know where you will find yourself. You will find yourself back to square one. Hey, hey. You will find yourself on the streets of Enugu State or Imo State, roaming about with your children. Or they might even take away the kids from you. You will only find yourself there with your... With the children. Even the children you have with your first husband, he will collect it. Hmm. Be very careful. If this is not a joke, if this is not a prank, or maybe a way to make money. If this is not the fact that you guys are inside house laughing at and uh, laughing at our comments, if this is not true, but if this is true, <laughs> Judy, you don't even know the family you are married into. You feel that you have arrived. You now have a son and a daughter. You have balance. You forget that that place belongs to somebody, and the person you belong to is still there, mm? and people are supporting her because she did you no wrong. You just came and snatched the husband. Hmm. Be careful if nobody's advising you, Judy. I think you have a mother. Go to her for advice. Or uh, even better, go and meet a therapist. You don't even know what you are, what you are getting into. Hmm. Recording somebody, keeping evidence. <laughs> Especially a man that had to forfeit all. Forfeit his presidential election. Forfeit his status. People yab him, yab him, call him all sorts of names. Roman rapper, somebody tied in the bottle. And all you could do is to turn against him this way. Feeling that you are a smart lady, or maybe someone told you to be keeping evidence. If that is true, you know how long you have been together, hiding and hiding. You know they say that the friendship, then they hide, they do the sweet pass. The bola bola, then they chop, hide, hide the sweet pass. Now everybody have known, and you are married. The bola bola no sweet again, and katakata has come. But for me, I still believe that this is all for view and for attention. Because you and the, you, two, both of you, love seeking attention too much. 
on a the overdo. But if this turns out to be maybe a conversation you had really, and now both of you decided to post it and uh, to maybe for people to think that nobody's tied anybody to the bottle or that you, you guys also have your own issues. This is not right. I didn't say you shouldn't post anything, no, but be careful. All I'm saying is be careful before you find yourself back to square one. Your first husband will not accept you and he throws you out. You find yourself alone <coughs> with your children. So that is all I have to say. So let's keep watching you guys. Keep entertaining us until we discover if this is real or fake. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.